The Coffee Cart Girl by Ezekiel Mful. Eskiel Mful was a South African writer, educationist, artist and activist celebrated. As the father of African humanism and one of the founding figures of modern African literature. He was given the name Ezekiel Mful at birth but changed his name to Eskiel in 1977. In The Coffee Cart Girl by Ezekiel Mful we have the theme of conflict, jealousy, equality, pity, struggle, kindness, acceptance, independence and strength. Narrated in the third person by an unnamed narrator the reader realizes after reading the story that Mful may be exploring the theme of conflict. Not only is there conflict between the workers and the police outside the steel factory but China too brings trouble into Pinky's life when he attacks her with a knife. The reader aware that the attack is triggered by China's jealousy of Pinky's relationship with Naidu. What is interesting about China's attack on Pinky is the fact that China believes that he loves Pinky yet he goes about expressing his love in a very peculiar manner. The attack on Pinky also serves to highlight how possessive China is of Pinky. This may be important as Mful may be suggesting that some men consider it their right to possess a woman. Which seems to be the case when it comes to China. Not only is China possessive but he is also dangerous. Mful possibly using the purchase of the knife on the chain as foreshadowing. Something that becomes clearer to the reader when China attacks Pinky. Mful also appears to be exploring the rights that black people had in South Africa during the apartheid era. Pinky is told that she is no longer allowed to operate her coffee cart based solely on the color of her skin. If anything it may be a case that Mful is placing a spotlight on the inequalities that existed at the time between black and white people in South Africa. Similarly the strikers at the factory are part of an illegal strike. Illegal being based solely again on the color of their skin. At the time it was illegal for black people to go on strike. It is also noticeable that Pinky pities China. She is aware that he is out of work and struggling. It is for this reason that Pinky offers China coffee and food for free. This too may be important as it highlights how good natured Pinky is. She doesn't want to see anyone suffer and if she can help a person like China, she will. If anything Pinky has the ability to show compassion for another human being. What is also interesting about the story is the fact that Pinky is the only female character mentioned. It may be a case that Mful is suggesting that women, particularly black women in South Africa, did not have a voice at the time the story was written. They were in a minority, though black people of both sexes were discriminated against. Mful may be highlighting the fact that black women were not only discriminated based on their skin color but also based upon their sex. China in particular expects Pinky to be weak and afraid when he attacks her with the knife. However Pinky doesn't appear to be afraid or at least she doesn't show it. This may be significant as Mful could be highlighting the resilience and strength of black women at times of crisis. It is also interesting that Pinky accepts the predicament she finds herself in when China attacks her. This too may be important as it again highlights Pinky's strength of character. The fact that Pinky is in the middle of the conflict that is occurring outside the factory also highlights an inner strength within Pinky. At no stage of the story does Pinky show any fear be it outside the factory when the police are there or when China attacks her. It is also possible that Mful is suggesting that Pinky is independent of other people. Something that is symbolically noticeable by the fact that Pinky is self-employed. She is not reliant on others. The end of the story is also interesting as the reader gets a deeper insight into how China feels about Pinky. As readers we suspect that he is obsessed with Pinky though there is also a sense that he is desperate. Something that becomes clearer to the reader by the fact that China waits for Pinky's return. China is able to justify his actions in his mind and believes that should he explain himself to Pinky. She too will understand him. This is highly improbable considering the course of action that China has taken against Pinky, attacking her. The harsh reality for China is that he has to live with his actions and the possibility of redemption is exceptionally low. 
Even if China does see Pinky in town it is most likely that Pinky will not listen to anything that China will say to her. She has learned a lesson that she will probably never forget. China may have the appearance of a gentleman but the reality is very much different. Through jealousy China attempted to ensure that no man could have Pinky if he couldn't have her. If anything Phil could also be suggesting that some men's desire is to possess a woman rather than treat them as an equal. End of the summary. Thank you.